Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be on Duke. I'm going to give a gameplay and commentary on him, share some general strategy, my thoughts, tips, tricks. Like Buck and Bruce, we're going to be starting off with Copy. I think it's very strong on all tank characters. And um, we're going to follow yesterday's format as well, where we read off questions from the previous videos, give shout outs, uh, all, all sorts of stuff. So uh, just kind of waiting to load in here. Looks like there might be a couple bots in this game. That's fine. I like starting the igloo because three weapons are guaranteed to spawn for you. You'll always leave the igloo with at least a full set of weapons. Sometimes there's guards. They'll give some upgrades immediately. And of course the health kits. The ever important health kits. Heading towards the center here. Duke with coffee at this level is very strong we don't have much to worry about even if there's a fuzzy or something nearby we're just so fast right now that we'll be able to get away just fine I'm gonna grab this uh, silver shotgun pick up a health kit I think that's one of the really underrated things people do in this game is they don't pick up health kits and deny other players them so like I'm gonna purposely get hit there just so I can deny him the health kit and I think that's really big. I think that's a really good thing to incorporate into your game. Looking for the legendary guard. I think he was just killed by this Nyx. See if we can get him. We're in the jungle here, so... Well, not the jungle, but... We've got a, bun a bunch of bushes to proc our jungle shoes. And there it is. Looks like we're going to be getting a huge upgrade here. All three gold weapons and the legendary of course <laughs> classic Larry yoinking the health kits denying this one so barricade there grab this barrel and I do think the new patch is out but I haven't downloaded it yet generally I wait until they force the update to download it um, if you haven't noticed by now, I'm also using Nitro Bow on Duke. You can just see how powerful that range is with the Legendary. It's, it's absolutely insane. Now, my Nitro Bow item is maxed level, level 8. So, if you don't have that maxed, you won't achieve this same range. But I definitely think it's incredibly strong. You know, for, for someone like Duke, who has short range generally, being able to achieve almost mid-range tier on a weapon is, is huge. Um, not going to really bother with this molly. I think I'm going to check the igloo out real quick. I think I saw someone go in there. Let's see if we can get this fin and another molly. Not a whole lot to worry about. We have a bush that we can use down right here to take care of this guy. We're in the showdown now. Little known fact, let me throw that over there. Gonna deny him the health kit. So again, um, against a player who plays like this, where they just really don't want to get touched by me, I will just play the circle. I will avoid all of his bombs. Um, you know, if there's an opportunity to go in, like perhaps right here, where he's forced to dash, you know, we'll look, we'll look to potentially do something. But he's taking so much fire damage that we'll just kind of chill and just avoid his bombs, and that's it. That's all you really have to do against this kind of player. Eventually, he'll just die to the fire, which is good for us. I'm trying something new. I'm um, trying music and it's gonna be a little lower so you guys can hear my commentary. So we did lose the game sounds, but that's fine. I think um, this will be better overall, but I definitely wanna hear your guys' thoughts. So let me know in the comments, you know, what you think of this new format. If you want the game sounds, you know, let me know. And um, if you feel like the music and the commentary uh, are a little better, no game sound, you know, also let me know that any feedback is good feedback. 
so I can improve and make these videos as best as they can be for you guys. All right, heading into the second match here, uh, I, I generally like starting on a legendary guard. We didn't last match. I, I'm not sure what I was thinking. I just saw the igloo and, and figured I'd start there, which is fine. I think overall, unless you're you're playing duos where the legendary guard is a lot more important, um, you can really just kind of start anywhere in solos. There's not a whole lot to worry about when you're higher level at the beginning on a character like Duke. We will run into a couple other tanks here, but it's not a problem. We are Duke after all. There's the legendary guard. I'm gonna get, get him. See if we can grab this buck too. All right. And now uh, I just kind of want to run around and kill as many people as possible until my coffee expires. Uh, he's gonna stun me in this bush, probably. No. Okay. We'll see if we can get him. Yep. Grab this pepper. I think Duke's worst enemy is probably Fuzzy and Molly. I think he deals with everyone else pretty well. He might go slightly negative against Buck, but I haven't really tested the matchup enough or played the matchup enough with this new Duke to know for sure or say anything for sure. I feel like Duke is strong enough to where he can almost go even with Buck, but I still feel like Buck slightly uh, has the advantage over Duke, you know, in the long run. We're in the mid game now. Uh, there's a fuzzy on this bridge. I'm going to use this present to dodge any arrows that he shoots, and I expect one right here. I didn't barrel quick enough. That's fine. He is going to disengage, and we're just going to kind of run around this jungle now. Pick up anyone we can and wait until the circle gets a little smaller to finish it out. Someone is right here. Um, he's just gonna kinda chill in the water, so won't worry too much about that. There's that Molly from the last game. I'm gonna grab this Duke though, I think. Stun. Good fight. Okay, circle is definitely getting smaller here. Only three people left. Four if you include me. And uh, in the next video we'll do a couple shoutouts. Kind of have a more casual game. More focused on talking about you guys and your feedback and what you're thinking than the, the game itself. I think I've kind of exhausted the tank experience by this point. Um, you, you've seen three days in a row now what it's like to play as a tank at max level and hear my thoughts and commentary on them. But tomorrow, tomorrow's video will be on Finn, I believe, and then the day after we've got Fuzzy, so don't worry. More good things are coming. Non-tank things, that are, that is. I think the Finn video uh, will be a good change of pace for you guys, especially the ones who want to learn more about hyper aggro playstyle, where you're engaging and going all in, and then disengaging and kind of backing off, looking for your next fight engaging going and all going all in and uh, rinsing and repeating and and definitely we'll discuss that with Finn tomorrow okay so last game um, let me pull up the comments from the last video all right so shout out to GW Dromi how much coins does it cost for power 16 um, not exactly sure on the context completely from that question, but to level a character from 15 to 16 coin wise, it's 400,000 pretty expensive. Uh, shout out to avocado six, three, seven. What is the best ability in the game? Uh, personally, I feel like it would be either Lizzie's egg 
because she can deal damage and heal teammates with it, and I think that's just incredibly powerful. Or Fuzzy Slow. Uh, now, Fuzzy was nerfed heavily in uh, the last update, or two updates ago, and I think that was that was needed. You know, Fuzzy was definitely too strong in my opinion, but um, his slow is still incredibly strong. One of the most powerful things on any given character in the game right now. Shout out to Hyde... I'm not sure how to say your name, uh, but your second name is Bully. Yo, that barricade is awesome. Can you do Fuzzy? Yeah, Fuzzy's coming, man. Uh, it should be after Finn, so two days from now. RL Turbo, I recognize your name from the Buck comments. Nice video. A new item, Inflatable Muscles, I saw today. Will you use it? So I looked at Inflatable Muscles, and it looks very strong. Looks like you get bonus damage and health for the rest of the game every kill you get, stacking up to seven times. And I think that's gonna be a must use item. Luke Tay says, first, OMG, the number one player in the world, better than Chewbacca. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, Luke's one of my, my good friends. I think he's just memeing there, but I definitely wanna give a shout out to him. He's the one who showed me this game way back in October. And uh, we've had a lot of fun playing and talking about it really good really good friend of mine uh alan hamed fear do you have the item that heals your teammates instantly i think you're referring to defibrillator which revives your downed teammate in duos and heals them up to full instantly yes i do and it is maxed at max level the item is level eight uh and it is 20 seconds cooldown guys i want to apologize for this game being less interesting i'm just kind of focusing on reading the comments but um that's what I think we'll do for most of these videos. We'll make the first two games about the gameplay itself and, and discussing that. And the last the last gameplay will be not as interesting. Maybe there might be uh, a cool trick shot here or there, but um, we'll just focus on giving shout outs and whatnot. Are you happy for 100 subscribers? Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the support. I hope we continue growing and maybe we'll get to 1,000 sometime. Uh, I just want to keep putting these videos out, sharing what I know, my commentary, um, what it's like playing from my perspective. I know you guys have enjoyed that, so much love to you guys. Outcast says, I like how enemies' health bars stack to the level of your character. If I saw that level 14 Duke, the health bar would take up my entire screen, but for you it's tiny. Also love the longer video. Yeah, much love, man. Uh, I, I think that's a good system, though. It scales so you know exactly what to expect in terms of their health when you engage somebody. Uh, Michael Isaacson, love your videos. What device do you play on? I play on an iPhone and I record on an iPhone, but I upload the videos on my PC. Um, they're edited on my PC and all that uh, all that good stuff on there. All right, well, I think that's it for shout outs. Um, I'm gonna wrap this, this video up with this pepper kill if I can ever get to him. <laughs> it's got all the knockback going right here. The, got the spear, the bomb but it uh, doesn't look like he's gonna be alive for much longer. Thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, again, and as usual, any comments, questions, or if you just wanna shout out, leave a comment, and I will see if I can get you in the next video. Happy hunting.